This is our chance to shine, Rick. Plot five. Yep. Rick Lagina and metal detection expert Gary Drayton arrive on lot five to look for more clues that might reveal who built the mysterious stone structures located in this area and why. I've gone over all this stuff mm -hmm. and I've got a lot of flags. I've got a dozen flags in this area. All of these spoils came from the bottom of that hole. So it should be the deepest finds. They are starting their search in the spoils that have recently been removed from a circular depression, a feature where they have found artifacts dating between the 17th and mid 18th centuries. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I'm in agreement, mate. Pretty good. After detecting and flagging a number of potential targets earlier today, Gary and Rick have now received permission from archaeologist Laird Niven to dig them up. It's out. Come on, let's be something good. Nope. It's in my hand, which means it's small. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's that. A lead shot. Mm -hmm. Small caliber, too. Yeah. It's an oldie. Very cool. Get the lead tested. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's period for the lot. All the finds we're finding are going way back to the early 1700s. Could be anywhere in the 1700s. We're even a little bit older. <laughs> it could be military. A lead shot found in the spoils removed from the circular feature on lot five and possibly dating back to the 1700s? If so, could it be another clue potentially related to the Duke Donby's ship's log? which detailed a French naval mission to hide treasure on an island in this area back in 1746. Right, let's find some more. OK. That could go either way. Broken up. Sounding good. That was yeah, it. A shell casing. Is it? No, it is not a shell casing, mate. That is an unusual find. Yeah, what is that? Look at that, mate. I don't know. It... You know the archaeologists are over there. Mm -hmm. Should we call Ellen over? Sure. Ellen, check this out. Hey, Gary, you guys have found something? Yeah, look at what this. What do you make of that? Oh, look at that. Hopefully, what you that? have an idea of what it is. What is that? I would say it's like, you know, gun related. Yeah? It almost looks like a sight. But it's really, really special looking, and I'm glad you went to gun because I was thinking yeah. old guns. Yeah. I mean, to me, that looks like a gun sight, right? Could be. Yeah, that's nice. For sure. Yeah. Well, thanks for your input, Ellen. Yep. OK. We have found items that we believe have some military context. This may be another of them. Well, again, this speaks to an enterprise here okay. could possibly have been conducted by the Duke Danville expedition. The good news is they can be tested. How about taking this lot back to the lab? I'm really, really curious. That copper barrel-shaped artifact, that's special. Let's add that to the database and keep going. OK, man. Back to the lab. Later that afternoon, in the interpretive center. So what do we have today? This artifact came off lot five, not too far off the round feature, maybe gun-related. Rick Lagina. Craig Tester and other members of the team meet with archaeologist Laird Niven and archaeometallurgist Emma Culligan to get their analysis of the artifact found one day ago on lot five. So it's a ramrod guide for a musket. This would be in there, and the ramrod would come through the front tube. This would be the center tube, and it would be held in with the third one. 
the smoothbore long gun, known as a musket, was invented in Europe near the beginning of the 16th century. Ah! A feature known as a ramrod guide was designed for aiding the operator in the loading of lead or stone projectiles into the muzzle of the musket. And what type of musket, mate? That's the million dollar question. Exactly. If it's a musket, that would make it pretty old then. Yeah. Anywhere from 1600s to 1800s. Yeah. But you've got to love that patina, man. Yeah. That tells you yeah. it's really old. The only strange thing is that there's a little tiny hole here, yeah. which I haven't seen in, yeah. in others. It seems fancy. But it'd be nice to know French, British. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some nationality to that. Do you want to see the CT image? Sure. Earlier this morning, Emma processed the artifact using the Skyscan 1273 CT scanner by emitting non-destructive X-ray radiation. The device can penetrate build-up corrosion on objects, revealing clear 3D images of them along with their finer details. So it's just loading. The little hole just turned big. Yeah. That's a clean scan. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But you see on the top, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like there's Roman numerals. Yeah. Can we get those crazy Roman numerals in the U-shaped structure? Yeah. The only thing I could think of is that could be, uh, it could be a regiment, I guess. It's an odd thing to mark. Yeah. yeah. It does look like a V1111, doesn't it? Yeah, and we saw that in Smith's Cove. Right. On the U-shaped structure. Yeah. 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 In the early 1970s, Rick, Marty, and Craig's late partner, Dan Blankenship, built an earthen cofferdam that surrounded Smith's Cove on the eastern end of Oak Island. In order to drain the area and look for evidence of the legendary flood tunnel system that acted as a booby trap for the original money pit, Dan was amazed to uncover a 65-foot-long U-shaped wooden structure that featured Roman numerals and which he believed was constructed as a surrounding barrier for the flood system. There's probably a ramrod waiting for us somewhere in that area. Is it possible that the U-shaped structure, along with the other features and artifacts that have been found on Lot 5, may be connected to a 1746 ship's log, which detailed how treasure was securely buried in a deep pit on a wooded island. Finding the Roman numerals carved on that little bit of ramrod guide, and it brought back memories of certainly the U-shaped structure. We've never found Roman numerals before on any other artifact to date, and to have them found here, I think the two are strongly connected. Absolutely fantastic. This has given us hope that there's more finds on lot five. I say we give it another shot. I want to find the rest of it. I'm in. All right. Good luck. Thank you, Laird. Thanks, Emma. Thanks, Laird.